Trying to hear someone in a noisy place is tough, and it only gets tougher with age. So what makes picking out your friend's voice easier for some people? The answer may lie somewhere within the chords. It's no secret Dr. Nina Krauss loves music. Her auditory neuroscience lab at Northwestern University studies the neurobiology underlying music and speech perception. She's also an amateur musician. Her research has explored everything from how seeing someone talk affects our auditory perception to how musical training can affect literacy. Funded by the National Science Foundation's Social, Behavioral, and Economic Sciences Directorate, Dr. Krauss and her team are now studying musical training and its effects on older adults perceiving speech in a noisy environment. We can very, very objectively look at the ingredients of sound and how the nervous system transcribes them and really be able to understand on a biological level um, you know, what is the impact, for example, of aging. After hearing a sound, your brain responds by producing a similar waveform of that sound. Looking at these CABRs, or auditory brainstem responses to complex sounds, Dr. Krauss and her team can determine who has a better ability to discern speech in noise by seeing whose CABR more closely resembles the original sound's waveform. What they discovered is that people with musical training are better than non-musicians at discerning speech from background noise. They even found that hearing impaired musicians can pick out speech better than normal hearing non-musicians. As a musician, you have to be pulling out the harmony line, the melody line. You're listening for details in a complex soundscape with the string plucked or bowed. Um, and this is not all that different from um, pulling out your, your friend's voice in a noisy restaurant. It's you're pulling out a signal from a complicated soundscape. Basically, practicing an instrument trains our nervous system to lock in on what we deem to be important sounds. A police siren, a guitar riff, or a friend's I'll voice. Send the, email. the more musical training, the more practiced our brain becomes at focusing on these sounds. Musical experience that you've had decades ago uh, still continues to impact the adult brain. Understanding how the brain responds to musical training could lead to musical education reform, not to mention better interpersonal relationships later in life. Dusting off that old guitar could help you tune out all that background noise and it's tune in to what your friend has to say. In the next group. Thank you.